London, and behind the drawn curtains of a typical Ministry of Defence Mark V simulated letterbox, there is a sense of urgency. For this is the Mayfair home of Danger Mouse, the world's greatest secret agent, and Penfo, the world's worst assistant, where even now Colonel K is contacting the charismatic companions with a confidential communication. Just had this amazing message from the United Nations, DM. Cool, can I have the stamp? Penfo, shush. Go on, sir. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Three pints, please, and small cream. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah. Wrong side. <laughs> Received message out of space. Core, can I have it? Enfold. Alien craft arriving soon. Healthy, fun-loving crew wish meet Earthlings with similar interest, macrame and stamp collecting. Good grief. It'll be the greatest event in the history of the world. Very hard, DM. What about the third test in 35? Besides, it's probably a trap. A trap? Core. So we're just sending our two top agents to meet them. Oh, clever. One of them, a stamp collector. Ah, yes, I'm a stamp collector. You know, uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, my leg. Oh, ah, two. Uh, bronchitis. Mm, uh, ah, why? Do you know, I'm very, very ill. Penfold. Pulled a muscle in my ear. Oh, how? Penfold, shush. Oh, wick. Whitehall's aware of the danger, DM, so the top chaps are rendezvousing on the Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight? And where exactly is the landing site, sir? Scotland. Glen Coco on the Isle of Slug. Been sealed off by our chaps, so not even our gnat could get in. They're expecting you. Good luck. Over and, um, and all that sort of thing. Right, Penfield. Come on. Oh, all right, but I'm not going down in the bow! Within minutes, the Mark III was bearing our heroes northwards. And soon they found themselves winging between the Caledonian slopes of a remote Scottish valley. Cool. What a relief. Not a sign of an alien. I'm... Great Yellow Square. Yeah, steady on. I'm not supposed to be a hero. I'm... No, not you, Penfold. Down there. Hey. Woo! yes! It's the landing site. Hang on. We're going down. <coughs> ah. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, super. I'll be able to watch the big match. It's not a television set, Penfold. It's a radar screen. Oh, heck. You see, it will switch on automatically when the alien ship comes within range. Ah, well, um, it's been awfully nice. You really must come and see us sometime. Uh, goodbye for now. Penfold. Uh, yes, dear. All right, dear. Ah, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, quick, help. The aliens are coming. The aliens are coming. Help, help. Pull yourself together. Straighten your tie. Blow your nose and keep a stiff upper lip. Yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Stiffen your tie, straighten your nose, and blow your lipper up. Mm. Penfold. Shush. Mm. Mm. Penfold. Look, good grief. How would you describe that? It's like four sausages with long, narrow windows. Four sausages with... Penfold, take your hands away from your eyes. Oh, crumbs! It's a clockwork mushroom. Clockwork mushroom? It's got a key to wind it up. A key? <laughs> no, I see. No, that, Penfold, is a modified high-gain interstellar dipole antenna. Alien spaceship reception party. Shut. Saluting the alien spaceship. Hop. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Down. Two, three. Alien spaceship reception party. Standard. <laughs> Easy. Good grief. It landed like a clockwork mushroom, Chief. Josh Benfo, force of gravity has upset their gyros. Oh, well, that's it then. Might as well go. Ah! Hutton. Hun. Peoples of the planet Earth, I greet you. Welcome to my world. How do you do? This is how Earth people greet one another. DM, I am Earth people. Not you, Penfold. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Do you do? Do you do? Oh, well done. 
Very well done. <laughs> oh dear, perhaps he thinks you're a tent peg. I wonder if he's been to Shepton Mallet. <laughs> what was that about tent pegs? Oh, right, right. I'll, I'll try something else. Good. Behold, great visitor, I offer you the key of freedom to every city in the world. <laughs> yeah, that was nine carat gold. Well played. You can't do... Silly creature. Come on, Penfold. Penfold? Penfold? What have you done with Penfold? <laughs> yeah! Ow! Ooh, help! Help! Oh, right. It's a minimum force job, is it? You won't get away with it. Oh, oh. Made it. I'm all right, Chief. I've. This has got to stop. Charge! Oh. Now. <laughs> and that, I believe, is that. Well, that's it, Gary. Come on, son, there's no intelligent life on this little planet. No intelligent life? So mind you don't step on them beetles. Beetles? And get back in the van. Eh? Why, son, you're forgetting your wind-up mushroom. Wind up my... Good grief. Well, then there was an almighty roar, sir, and there's been no sign of them since. Well, so, dear. Uh, uh, by the way, you still keep it in touch with Penfo? Oh, yes, Colonel. He still gets a bit light-headed from time to time, you know, feels a bit ropey, <laughs> even if he has gone up in the world. Oh, crap! Is Penfold about to become one of the Heavenly Twines? Or will he and DM continue to thread their way through peril, fighting with one accord the forces of evil? Look out for the next amazing adventure of Danger Mouse. Incidentally, I do resent these snide references to Makami. It's a wonderful hobby. And if you could see the flower pot holder that stands beside my microphone, you would really be amazed because it is quite something else. I, in fact, did it myself by my hands. And anybody who is interested in Makrami would like to drop me a, a little letter, a little, perhaps a little note or two, a few quid, a little of Malva the Mystic wouldn't go, wouldn't go, wouldn't go far wrong. He's terrific. He's magnificent. He's the greatest secret agent in the world. Danger Mouse. Power house. He's the fastest, he's the greatest, he's the best. Danger Mouse.